Starting to snow. Gosh, I thought that was snow. Mm -hmm. House Bar Bar Room is West Town's brand new international sports bar concept, combining the excitement of watching your favorite sports teams with globally inspired street food and mm. craft cocktails. That sounds so good. Mm -hmm. Joining us now with a look at the few of its signature cocktails is Matilde Tchinavong. Yes, did it right. <laughs> That was perfect. Thank yeah. you. Thank yeah, that was great. Well, you have one of my favorite uh, cocktails. No. Comes from Mexico. Mine too. Uh, Palomas. Yeah, definitely. So we're making some Palomas and we're making an old fashioned. Yes, that's right. With a little twist. With a little twist, yes. So right here I have all of our ingredients that we use for our Paloma in Old Fashioned. I'll go ahead and get started with the Paloma. Okay. okay. So we do have a twist to it. Um, we actually make our own grapefruit syrup. Mm. So I'll go ahead and get started with that. We do a quarter of an ounce of that. Mm. And we are gonna shake this. Um, we're also gonna do half an ounce of fresh lime juice. Mm -hmm. Right in the tin. And then our little twist to this is uh, Chicago's Finest Malort. Oh. <laughs> I know, I know, but trust me on is this. Is it gonna ruin my Paloma? No, I promise you, oh. you'll love it. Okay, okay. We only use a quarter of an ounce of oh, that. Okay. So I see. Yeah. So it's maybe really it gives a little herbal. Yeah, exactly. Medicinal. It works. It works. It's a well-balanced <laughs> cocktail. We also use um, Grand Centenario or Posado tequila. Okay. We're just yes. gonna do I, a half. You know what? <laughs> an ounce and a half. And I like the fact that you're not using a blanco. Yeah, yeah, the reposado really does give it a little bit more of a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of people do um, tahini or salt on the rim. Yes. We're actually going to put it right into the drink. Ooh. So just a little bar spoon of that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And then once we get that going, I'll go ahead and shake and shake. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is very different because when I'm home, I just make it right into the glass. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just to like add that little freshness to it. Mm -hmm. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and strain it and then top it off with my favorite grapefruit jarito. Oh mm. yes, yes. I guess yes. I yes. A lot Extra. of people do use um, squirt, but I love it with the jarito. I, I, I agree delicious. with you. It yes. just gives it a little something extra. It really does. There. Yeah. More authentic this way. Especially yeah, since yeah, you're absolutely. an international sports bar of concept. Of course, we <laughs> love the classic cocktails. And then we're just going to put a little put flamingo, flamingo straw on there. Yes. Love and it. then a little lime wheel garnish as well. And it's just extremely fresh, refreshing. Um, Perfect for the patio. So as we try this out, so tell us about Passport. Mm -hmm. I love the, the concept yeah. of, you can watch any sport yes. that you want, uh -huh. anywhere in the world. Yeah, so we actually have two floors. Um, Passport mm. Barroom has 17 TVs all the way around, so you can watch any of your favorite sports. Ooh, right girl, now we have March Madness good. going on, <laughs> right? You don't, don't taste the Malort, do you? No, I don't, I really no. don't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This is good. Yeah. And then our menu is inspired by global street foods from all around the world. Mm. So, you know, we have really great, delicious food. Um, Eric Lopez is our executive chef, mm -hmm. and he's brilliant behind the kitchen. Okay. We have a really awesome bombazo that's from Mexico that's really delicious. We also have an Italian-style mozzarella grilled cheese that's extremely, Ooh, like, wow. phenomenal. Yeah. It's literally my favorite. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And then our cocktails are also like globally inspired as well. Okay, so, so. where would the oh, so we know that the mm -hmm. Paloma comes from Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yes. Where would the old fashioned come from? It's actually from USA. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, right. So we didn't have to go from, far for that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's from Chicago, actually. So okay. That's where I heard the first um, cocktail was made from. Okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So let's get started on that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, an old fashioned is usually consisted of three different ingredients. So you have your whiskey, you have your sugar, mm -hmm. and you have your bitters. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna get started with Ooh, our whiskey. Here you go. Let we're, me assist. Thank you. Okay. Appreciate it. <laughs> We're gonna use two ounces of Woodford bourbon. Okay. A lot of people sometimes opt for um, the rye option, but we're just gonna go with the bourbon. I love it. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then um, we're gonna do a bar spoon of our Demerara sugar. Mm -hmm. We make this in-house and it's very subtle. Um, it's just sugar in the raw. Mm. Um, some people use just uh, raw sugar or simple um, but the dem is really delicious. We also do two uh, dashes of Angostura bitters. Mm -hmm. We could tell that by the bottle yeah. here. Oh yeah. We learned a whole story about those Angostura bitters oh, really? and, that, and this, this, this uh, That's very label there is very, yeah, it's very interesting. That's okay, awesome. We'll go ahead yeah. <laughs> and then the last um, ingredient is orange bitters. So we'll do two dashes of that. And that helps out, brings out um, the citrusy notes for the old fashioned okay. as well. So just really quick while you're doing this, yeah. 
So are you guys going to play the actual sports games on all the screens do, with yeah. sound? Because I know, with every, sound. yeah, because like, you know, soccer vans are always looking for the soccer game oh, and yeah. they need it with sound. Yeah, and, yeah, absolutely. We do have some great F1 speakers that we have all around. So whenever people request for sound, we have no problem playing oh, that. Good, good, good. Um, during late nights, we also have uh, live DJ entertainment music Ooh, as well. Okay. So okay. yeah, Friday mm -hmm. nights we do house music and then, oh. so, yeah. <laughs> That's so fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. We also have a late night menu that starts at 10 p.m. too. So. Thank you. Praise the, the Lord. Open. Oh, yeah, the night night open. Open. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So it's, it's awesome. I love it. I love working there. It's always a vibe for sure. So we're going to do that. I actually only made one. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. But, that, um, that, that, this is, this is a. Uh, Jeez, Jam. So oh, oh, really? There you go. Yeah, she loves that. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you so yeah. much. All right, so Passport Bar Room is on yes. the corner, actually, of uh, Grand and Ashland. Yes. Um, there's the information with the social media handles as well as the website. Yeah. Check them out. You Pass say you have room. something really uh, good going on for the final yeah. four coming up. Absolutely. We do have some uh, like live DJs as well for that day. And then we also have a spring menu launching really soon, too. And then we're also doing brunch on Easter. Oh, So there's great. a lot of things coming up. But if you follow us on our Instagram, you can definitely keep in touch with everything we have going on. All right. We're Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having me.